luckily we got top of the line model of ford everest so i'm i have a question to ford when the so this is when you start you will see this information uh so uh the pricing part so mustache wheelers if you have a classic car a sports car or you think your car is unique or you are having an event uh i have my whatsapp number the mustache wheels whatsapp number in the link below and you will be able to see on the screen as well please give us a whatsapp that what car do you have and what is your location so we are based in malaysia let us know and we will come and review your car and post it in on our all social media platforms good morning good evening good afternoon mustache wheelers uh, how are you doing i hope you are doing well so we are here with the amazing ford everest today but this is uh, one of the kind and luckily we got top of the line model of ford everest so i'm going to share uh, the details the pricing specs and everything and uh, i was i was waiting for quite a time that when we will get this ford everest but yes ford uh, raptor you might have seen the review by now for the ford raptor 2023 this is a uh, titanium top of the line 4x4 10 speed automatic uh, model and uh, they have three variants and i have a brochure with me because they have tons of features and i would like to tell you all the features along with and uh, the terrain and the engine um, everything is the same it's it it is bi turbo so they have three models overall one is uh, sports uh, which is 4 by 2 and then uh, that's 6 uh, speed automatic uh, single turbo then they have uh, trend and then they have titanium so trend and titanium both are 10 speed automatic 2.0 bi turbo and this these are all diesel versions these are not petrol these are all diesel versions with 405 newton meters of torque at what 2500 rpm so uh, you know uh, these uh, the numbers for some they don't really matters but the people who really goes into numbers i share those numbers so that they understand you can also get it from the ford website uh, but the overall design look it's pretty much the same as of uh, the other vehicles of ford ranger wild track uh, xlt xlt plus uh the orange lights again signature so make sure if you are getting one put these lights on the roof as well because that's what i'm going to do if i get it so overall the look of the vehicle is very nice it has some added features uh because uh the uh trend and the other one uh which is sports model they do not have the 360 camera view this titanium has 360 camera view it has a sunroof and moonroof as well so i mean it is fully loaded uh so overall it has a black grill and then uh the the road clearance is quite nice it has two uh, recovery hooks if you can see solid recovery hooks at the front and one of the features which i miss over here is that uh if you have seen the review of our raptor they have the grills over here where you can see the intake or condenser and those grills are missing from here so i'll add a shot if i can that those grills were in the raptor and then when you turn off the raptor or turn on those grills move like they close this part and they open this part so it could be due to the ventilation uh, or air flow uh, while you are driving so again led uh, adjustable lights and these are adaptive led lights uh, high beam low beam you can see fog lights as well so uh, i mean this is as same as ford ranger you have uh, daytime led running light S everything looks brighter and cleaner um, i love this uh, color as well so if it's get gets dirty it doesn't hurt you well overall the shape uh, so if you have to compare this i think you can compare this with uh, toyota fortuner uh and if you own one let us know in the comments that uh what is your experience if you have any videos share with us uh when we come to the wheels uh it has uh, goodyear uh, wheels and uh, 17 inch uh this is 20 inch wheels so uh when i look at the brochure it says 17 inch but this has 20 inch wheels 
255 55R20 and these alloy wheels are pretty nice uh, four wheel disc brake and by the way this is uh, the conventional suspension that Ford is carrying with wild tracks uh, this doesn't come with the Fox suspension or any other aftermarket suspension but I believe the performance uh, is much more nicer so if you have kids or a family and you want to go off-road this is the vehicle enough space seven seater as well uh, if you go to Raptor that is a different version of it but uh, you can't tilt your back seats and you know uh, you cannot like people like me they can't fit at the back so yes please do review this again a bi turbo badge uh, chrome uh, personally in my opinion I don't like the chrome version of it uh, I like the LED bar over here so that people can see it has blind spot monitoring as well overall so if you have one please put it in uh, piano black so footsteps you have the titanium badge on the left side and then uh, big footsteps again the footsteps are quite uh, big you can uh, put your whole step on top of it it's sturdy nice uh, you can see the uh, the vehicle is rolling with my pushing of this sideboard so it's quite stable amazingly nice uh, roof rails uh, silver roof rails definitely you have to remove them and put a camper on top of it or a bed uh, keyless entry on the left again chrome I don't know for off-road vehicles there should be no chrome man so just tell Ford to please put it as black or you know any other color should be nice so when we move to the back uh, the body is quite simple uh, no curvies or uh, like no Lexus lines straight lines the rear views look at the LEDs beautiful LEDs I would say uh, it's like uh, it's like giving a different look to the Everest uh, to be honest because uh, the Raptor and others they have uh, length uh, with the backlights but this is like quite a light and it gives a nice touch to it you have the Everest uh, monogram over here you have the Ford badging you have the titanium badging on your left side and you have the 4x4 badging so uh, I mean it's complete uh, it's nice it's elegant as well as it's an SUV which uh, has seven seats what else do you want so we have the spoiler as well we have the backlight as well so this is a washer if you have like dirty back screen uh, this is a washer just wash your uh, back screen again you have 360 camera over here so nice single touch you can open the boot and uh, the boot have enough space I guess uh, to put your bags but you can uh, put down the seats and uh, you just you know can fit in like this have a coffee uh, at the end of K2 or Mount Everest maybe so I really really love those these vehicles because uh, where you have limits you can cross your limits you know and uh, countries like Pakistan Bangladesh Nigeria Nepal and all those countries where you have so much off-road and so much haphazard traffic no offense guys uh, so these are the vehicles that you should try so let's close this uh, just press this close uh, you have this antenna over here so this is very useful when you are transmit when you are listening to the transmission overall uh, you have these lights you can see the red lights and uh, let me turn them on later and you can see so when you are uh, having uh, a very dark or uh, off-roading time you can use these as well uh, again very nice color a big uh, cap for the diesel you have the tank capacity I'll uh, share with you the tank capacity how much uh, it has so overall uh, the vehicle is very nice uh, very very uh, practical vehicle I would say so you can enjoy uh, everything at the same time uh, like rain snow dirt just change it to alternate tires and you are done with it 
So um, another few features, uh, I'll show you the hood itself inside the engine. It's the same terrain, bi-turbo, uh, 10 speed automatic gear. So bi-turbo gives you a very nice kick and diesel has a lot of torque. So I would love to drive this vehicle and share with you the outcome of this vehicle. But again, we do not have any uh, test drive unit at the moment for this uh, Everest. I have a question to Ford when the driver is there why have you given this the front boot opener on the left so this is the insider part of this uh, vehicle nice uh, diesel engine with bi turbos and uh, it's been a while that I haven't drove a uh, bi turbo diesel engine so I really wanted to feel it how does it goes you just have to put one snorkel over here because turbos are prone to uh, not turbos, the diesel engine are, are prone to uh, the waters and crossings so you can easily you know just dive into some pool or something and get out of it uh, there are no such you know Porsche type sensors over here or Ferrari type sensors so again um, everything is nice and one more thing is that there is a lot of uh, space that you can work with you know so you see a lot of room over here uh, which is amazingly nice uh, anybody even you yourself off-road your timing belt broke or fan belt you can change it easily if you know how to do it so there is a plenty of space over here Ford well done uh, now I have to get two I have to get one Ford Everest when I'm going with the family and Raptor for me and uh, the guy behind the camera and I would like to share with you uh, the things uh, especially the safety features that they have uh, so they have tons of safety features and with this titanium you get all so they have adoptive uh, cruise control ESS emergency st stop signal uh, lane departure warning blind spot information system high beam assist rear cross traffic alert manual speed limiter active park assist tire pressure monitoring system anti-lock braking system electronic stability control traction control brake assist hill descent control and um, hill launch assist so these two are important again hill launch assist and uh, hill descent control rollover uh, mitigation adoptive load control autonomous emergency braking with uh, pedestrian detection to be honest i really don't know what that is so parking sensors standard 360 camera reverse camera srs airbags standard uh, seat belts front rear rear uh, iso fix seat belt reminder remote control rocking security my key security alarm with immobilizer and that's all so i guess you have got it all so this is when you start you will see this information uh, yeah, so the sound is quite nice and again the growling of the diesel engine. You are looking at the interior and the cockpit view of this uh, Ford Everest and uh, it it is pretty much the same as uh, Ford Raptor or other Ford Ranger. Uh, you might uh, feel a little bit of difference uh, but to me I did not notice any difference uh, maybe I did not pay any attention so please enlighten me this is the uh, main screen that you are seeing all digital uh, that uh, you know you can get all the information from here uh, you can change the modes you have fueling temperature gauges um, oil temperature so everything is in your control uh, you have uh, you can set your cruise limit as well and uh, so yeah this is the limiter uh, when you press the button on the left side all the details are on your Ford uh, steering wheel the steering wheel is nice it's all totally leather wrapped uh, you can see on my right almost almost the same options as Ford uh, below you have the headlights and fog lights options and uh, you can use all these the aircon vents are very nice again the big tesla screen as we call it uh, the climate controls uh, then we go down uh, the the middle part is also the same uh, gear shifters uh, this is the key let me show you the key so this is the key for ford everest and this is also a customer car so 
this is the center console overall you can see the dashboard so the seating is all covered with the plastic at the moment because it's a delivery car as i said um, the view is very nice uh, from here and you feel really secured one of my personal favorites of suvs are that uh, the other sedan cars are below you and uh, your height from uh, the road that keeps you that gives you a bit of confidence so one of the uh, features that uh, i will I, i also like to introduce you is that the towing of this uh, vehicle so when you go to the towing option then you have trailer information and driver assistance and when you go to trailer information you have this distance trail grain and everything it's to assist you on a driver's mode so this is additional information as well uh, you can see off road so when you go to off road you have off road status pitch and roll driver assistance when you go to pitch and roll so i mean uh, when you are it, it depends that uh, on which grounds you are so you are easily able to see your uh, view your point of view your pitch and your car is uh, balanced or not and what trails are you looking at so this is quite a good feature uh, i think uh, to me uh, i never used so many options uh, while driving but particularly off road you have time to do that so please do enjoy all these features of this uh, beautiful uh, ford everest so overall it's uh, i would say uh, Yeah, it's uh, it's made for off road and it's made as a family SUV as well. So you can see from the back if I show you that it has seven seats and the seating capacity is nice. And one of the good things are, uh, let me open the sunroof for you. So you can see now there is a big sunroof that you can enjoy weather from here. and if we go more there is a moon roof as well so you know this is a added advantage of this uh, titanium this is a top of the line model and you will not get it with this uh, trend or sports vehicle because they have three variants overall so enjoy the sunroof and moon roof the steering wheel is really nice the grip is really nice you can enjoy the grip as well and uh, again i told you that the features interior features are all the same usb ports are all the same uh, gear knob braking uh, traction control parking assist everything is the same 360 camera is the same so this is the 360 view uh, you can set the view yourself uh, when you are off roading you can see that whether to engage the differential or not then hill descent and um, the good part is that it has tons of feature and i have to read it from the brochure these two front seats by the way are electric seats uh, eight way electric seats uh, you can adjust the they have the lumbar support as well both of them front so i think the entry exit is quite nice uh, you can see uh, my headroom it's also uh, quite okay even if you are 65 so uh, the entry and exit of the vehicle is quite nice uh, you have uh, the sun shades as standard and the seats are both electric seats front uh, with you can adjust the lumbar support as well and uh, the best the good part is that both are fully electric seats like driver seats uh, mirrors the passenger side seat again uh, everything is standard with uh, wild track or other ford vehicles and uh, one thing uh, which you can see is uh, this is not conventional this is something really different you can open your door from here so if you are finding your door opener over here please don't tear this off or pull this off you have the door opener over here so everything is quite nice i don't know about the sound system how does it work but Uh, really who cares about the sound system when you have this kind of a vehicle with you i think you will just be enjoying the ride overall and uh, the music system will be i think basic for this vehicle so everything is nice i mean let me get out of this vehicle you see nice and easy and uh, let me show you that if you have to slide in yourself at the back seat let's go 
Okay, so let me adjust the seat. Okay, so so this is fully at the back. Uh, my entry is uh, quite okay. My legs are uh, a bit tight because the front seat is fully uh, set at the back. So I have adjusted. But if I can go more, yeah, now it's easy. So you see, uh, you have to adjust it in the way uh, depends on the height of the passenger. So you are still okay and the moonroof is just above you. The AC vents are here, just above you. The lights are here. So everything is in your control uh, that you can you easily, uh, you know, get access to all the things. Then you can sit this seat back and everything is quite nice so let me show you one more thing at the back which is uh, the center console so you have the aircon controls or AC control over here you have uh, one USB one C port and you have this uh, power charging cord you can put your laptop over here I guess so that's quite nice this is a 3 pin plug and maximum output is 400 watts so this is uh, quite nice again everything is there uh, the AC vents I have shown you for the back whoever is sitting at the back you can enjoy these two AC vents and this is the back seat capacity so everything you can get with the 308,000 ringgits this is the front view so please enjoy the sunroof and moonroof okay so yeah the locking is this is touch so no uh, hard buttons you can touch it and close open so uh, the pricing part I haven't given you the price of this vehicle so let me tell you the price so my friends my f mustache wheelers by the way who have mustache can you please share your picture in the comment so I can see who is holding the mustache with mustache wheels so 2.0 single turbo automatic a 6 speed automatic 4x2 if you want to get this vehicle you have to pay 262,000 ringgit uh, approximately 263,000 ringgit uh, for an individual person uh, and then it's apart from the insurance uh, definitely 263000 in ringgits. So, this is the basic version of Ford Everest. Then we go to Bi Turbo Trend model or Trend variant 4x4 10 speed automatic. It goes around 280k, 280000. So, check your bank accounts, please. And uh, again, uh, the Raptor you can get it for 270. Uh, this is priced at 280 but again the comparison is different you can you might compare this with uh, I would say Fortuner so now it comes this model titanium model which is behind me 307819 ringgits so means if you round off 308,000 ringgits total not on the road on the road means not including insurance so you have to pay 308,000 ringgit for a titanium model if you have want to have sunroof bi turbo diesel engine moon roof and you want to put your five kids at the back and go camping please spend 300k with this model and uh, this is uh, again I would say uh, uh, it's a good buy for titanium models because these vehicle last for I don't know how many years okay so mustache wheelers uh, we have Agnes with us and she helped us uh, to review this vehicle she's kind enough to give us time because uh, this is a customers vehicle so Agnes you like to introduce yourself and uh, share your location and uh, share with our viewers that if they want to come here will you be able to help or not Alright, so thank you for coming here. Thank you. And I'm Ernest. I'm from Four Star East Puchong. So our area is in Puchong, uh, nearby the Banda Kingara here. And you can, uh, I think you will leave down my contact yes. details, right? So anything, if you want to book like Ranger, the new Ranger, you want to know more about Ford Ranger, you can just contact me. Yeah.
Thank you for coming. Okay, thank you, Agnes, uh, thank you. for your kind help and for your time. So, guys, see you soon. Until then, take care of yourself, and uh, I'll see you with another uh, SUV or XUV or whatever, whatever we have. Take care. Bye bye. bye.